Metroid Prime Federation Force sold fewer than 5,000 copies in Japan. This is a slightly older story, but it's still important to note the catastrophic failure of what happens when you slap a franchise's name on an obviously different game. I thought Nintendo would have learned its lesson with its rare dinosaur planet fiasco. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. You'll find something very, very interesting. Yeah, so Nintendo's done this in the past it didn't work it, it still doesn't work today and here we are again in fact in the first week only 4,286 copies were sold in the first week and that's pretty bad considering the game's not even $60 so the game is mediocre at best I've seen gameplay of it and uh, that's not good because this is probably going to be the death of Metroid other M sold shit because it was a shit game yeah it was mediocre in terms of gameplay, not that bad, definitely not the level of Metroid Prime or Super Metroid, which it was trying to emulate, uh, a first-person, third-person kind of adventure, but that's not what happened, and the story itself kind of killed the game. Also, the final boss was really weird, uh, so a lot of people didn't like Other M, so Nintendo went back to the drawing board and six years later came out with Metroid Prime Federation Force, which didn't do well. And in Japan is the concentration of the most 3DSs. So, here in America, good lord, I don't know how well it sold. In fact, it's not even at my local Walmart. The only way I was able to get my hands on a copy was at GameStop. Yeah, and it was a new opened copy that they try to reseal and sell as new for the display case purpose. So that's bullshit, right? Anyways, what ended up happening was I saw gameplay of it, I watched in-depth gameplay and reviews of it, and I said, this isn't worth $40 to me. I'm not interested in this because I, I literally have like over 5,000 games on various consoles, on PC, on Steam, on, on uh, just tons of games over my lifetime that I have acquired. So I don't feel like spending $40 on this mediocre crap. In fact, there was a Metroid remake of Metroid 2 that was DMCA'd by Nintendo that looked 10 times better than this, more appealing, and a lot of people said they enjoyed it a lot more than what Federation Force was. Having said that, I understand understand that me not actually playing through the game, it doesn't entitle me to a review of the game, and hence why I'm not going to be reviewing it. I want to point out a few things though. This game only sold 4,286 copies in the first week of sales. That came in at number 20 of weekly sales. The games that outsold it were No Man's Sky at almost 16,000, which is probably sitting at 1,000 now with all of the returns that it received, and the King of Fighters, uh, which would be the 14th version, King of Fighters 14, and that was at 23,000. A fighting game outsold a 3DS game in Japan. Do, do you understand? Do, I don't even think it's on the same system. So, I mean, like, it's not on the Wii U, it's not on the 3DS, so, wow, right? You're starting to see how serious, serious, it's just not a fun game. It's not that good it's not what people wanted and because nintendo decided to slap that whole oh uh uh uh, uh yeah, this this is totally a uh, metroid side entry guys trust us believe us guys believe us now they paid the price so if this game was a new ip let's just call them metal soldiers mecha soldiers who knows whatever metal force it probably would have sold a million times better and it could have had the same exact game and you just take away some of the references to Metroid Prime because they're barely sprinkled in there from what I've seen. So if you think this game has extreme redeeming qualities, let me know in the comments section below. As for me, I really don't think it's worth your time, but then again, I could be completely wrong and you could let me know why. So you guys have yourselves a great day and as always, good gaming and God bless. <laughs>